We are here with Coach Gary Wilson. We're going to talk Big Ten Cross Country Championships. Uh, Gary, heading into the weekend, last year you had more than an experienced team. This year you have a pretty pretty young team with five races of experience. How different is that for you? Well, it's, it's been really fun. I mean, uh, the last four or five years have been fun, too, because obviously we had a lot of veterans and they did great things for us. We won two Big Ten titles and were third last year by only nine points. And, and uh, so, you know, that was a fun group. But And I told the kids this year, I said, this is going to be uh, exciting because we don't know what we've got. And, and for what we've done this year to this point, uh, Sarah and I could not be happier. It's just a great group of kids, uh, not just the top group right now, but everybody up and down the line, everybody has contributed. Um, we are obviously five freshmen going, you know, four redshirt freshmen and one true freshman, uh, and uh, two seniors and a junior and a sophomore going into the conference meet, but um, they're pretty weathered already. I mean, they've, they know what they want to do. They know how to go about it. They've got a great outlook on things are not putting a lot of pressure on themselves and and we're not either it's not you know I mean we never do that but it's it's just one of those things where they're having fun and, and enjoying each other as friends and with that attitude you know we'll, we'll just see where the chips fall but it's been a it's really been a fun fun group now talking about letting the chips fall where they may this is an open season really in the Big Ten last year we had some heavy hitting teams and we were we were included and once again, this is just an open race this year. Well, it is. I, you know, I think I, I just did the stats on it. Uh, unless, which you know, I, I obviously I, I don't know for sure, but unless Indiana runs very poorly, they will win this meet uh, just because they have got you know two really good up front kids um, in Pease and in Blanchard, and they've got three or four. Well, they've really got four or five kids that could possibly put they could possibly put in the top 25 to 30 and when you do that at a conference meet you know you've got a you've got a lot of bang for your buck but that does not mean i mean two years ago when we won by one point we were not favored by any means and and we upset you know three teams so you know anything is possible i mean i wouldn't put it past this to win but on paper you know, Indiana certainly is a very, very good team. Michigan is excellent. Michigan State is excellent. Uh, Iowa's got a very good team. If, if Iowa can get their fifth up there a little further, they'll be very, very good. So, uh, and Penn State is much better than they've shown. Um, they had a great team last year. Obviously, they won the Big Ten. But, you know, so I think it's probably going to be, my guess is that, Mich or that Indiana's going to win with about 70 points. And then the rest of us are going to fight for anywhere from 95 to 115. So it's just there's just too much there's parity, which is which is fun. I mean it's nerve wracking, and you know I get older every by three years for every year I go into the Big Ten meet. But uh, fortunately, I get paid every other Wednesday, regardless of how they run. So, but they they uh, it'll be fun. It's always a great group of coaches and kids, and um, we have a lot of you know camaraderie and. Uh, it's just a, it's a fun conference to go to. It's not it's not that cutthroat. You know, I hate you, and I hope you do poorly. It's it's none of that. So it'll it'll be fun. Now, last year, individual race wise, we also had the, the big hitters. In that, you know, we had a race where later on, Angel Bazzari from in Illinois goes and wins the national title, and she didn't even win the Big Ten championship. Right. Um, six of the top um, seven runners were seniors last year. So once again, that field is pretty open. Yeah, it really is. I mean, obviously, Stephanie Price has done a great job for us. Uh, she's certainly got a shot. Uh, McLeod from Michigan State is very good. Uh, again, Pease, and you've got Blanchard. Uh, you've got, uh, from Indiana, uh, you've got Toro. You've got, um, you know, just you know, a whole slew of, of pretty talented kids. Maybe they're not quite yet um, the caliber of, a, of a, obviously, a Bazaar because she's pretty weathered. But, you know, McLeod is, you know, the kid from Michigan State is, a, number one, she's a great kid, a uh, person, but she's also, she knows how to play the game. I mean, she got knocked down at the, at the pre-national meet, I mean, knocked to the ground, and got up and still ran pretty darn well, whereas a young kid might have just, you know, folded the tent. So uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of weathering. I mean, Pease is a senior, and 
of course, then you got Sisson from, from Wisconsin who's run, I don't know what she's run, 15, 40 something ridiculous for 5,000 meters on the track. And so she's a, you know, she, she's had a little bit of an ankle problem apparently, but you know, she's on any given day, she's a gamer. So, you know, I would, I wouldn't bet on anybody in the top, it's a top 10 kid, but I also wouldn't bet against them. So it, it'll be, well, that's why we run. That's why we go there. <laughs> In addition to you and the top nine going, you also have a lot of the team come with their traditional Minnesota flags. It should be full force being so close. <laughs> so is that something that you kind of hear the rumblings of the talk of, I can't wait for this road trip from the, the rest of the team? Yeah, um, Emily Fowler's mom and dad. <laughs> I saw an email yesterday that they're, I think they've got 25 or 27 kids that are going to stay in their house. I think uh, Mr. Fowler has limited it to 25. He says there's no more room unless you want to go on the sun porch, and I don't think it's going to be too cold. So, uh, oh yeah, they're they're fun. They they are a hoot. They they go, they cheer. And we're gonna have a lot of fans there, and and obviously, you know, Iowa will, and and you know, Michigan, Michigan State. I mean, you can. I mean, it's fairly not not for Penn State perhaps, but it's fairly centrally located. So it'll be. There'll be enough people there to, to cheer everybody on. But there's always more Minnesota flags. <laughs> well, we try to do that. We try to, we out buy them. We try to buy more every year, <laughs> get more sticks and stakes from uh, from Lowe's. And uh, I usually put them together in my barn and, and then we'll bring them. So, yeah, it's, it's fun to, for those kids to do that. Well, good luck this weekend. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.